Hey, people. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Geek Ass Chat. And we're doing a review, a special review of basically an oldie but goodie, uh, The Mummy. Uh, you know, that action movie from the 90s. If you've never seen it, what's going on, watch it. <laughs> yes. Um, I think it's been like 20 years. So it's like, you know... With everything going on in the pandemic, we've been trying to go back to old movies. I don't think 90 movies are that old, but you know what I mean. And so we're like, let's review them. And we've done it before. We on our channel, we've done like Pride and Prejudice, 2005 remake, and we done um, Never Ending Story, which got like over like a 14,000 reviews. Um, yeah, and we we done like. Uh, princess bride so you know this is all on our channel and stuff and you know we were just like let's do the mummy because we grew up with this movie we they you know they don't do movies like this not anymore not, how not really no. not anymore you know <laughs> they these, try to they try <laughs> but they they don't really get the formula and the funny thing is i just saw yesterday um prior to the caribbean but i'll, I'll go into that and how like you know, going back to older movies, and, and, and we're also going to talk about the problematic nature and issues of it. Um, it's like, and Prior to Caribbean has that kind of too, it has that as well. So I'm going to mention them, you know, and the love story between Rick and Evie. Come on, the chemistry, like, oh, hello. Yeah. So we're going to get into that. You wanted to say something? <laughs> well, first of all, if you're new to the channel, this I'm Christy. I'm Shirley. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining us. And yeah, um, the reason why we're shooting it like this is because our battery, <laughs> just life of day, our battery died, so we need a new battery for our camera. And so we haven't been able to do any uh, video reviews and stuff. But Chrissy's going to get a, a new battery, and then we're going to be able to do like my book reviews and stuff and you know, go back to doing more reviews. So that's why we're shooting it like this. And apologies for the background noise. Yeah, but when, they're, they're doing when we can't have a fan in here, it's like so hot. It so gets yeah. really crazy hot. So we have the window open, and now it's been kind of cooler here in NYC. Um, but there's construction; they're building construction stuff. So sorry for the noise. Anyways, yes, I'm Shirley. This is Chrissy. You can get chat, subscribe, ring that bell. Uh, we do, you know, you love this review of the mummy. We do, you know, like I said before, older and then newer movies. You know, we just did the Green Knight as well, the independent film and all that stuff. So yeah, check out our channel and you know, you said anything else? No, no, no. For now. Let's oh yeah, continue. and like as well, and like. <laughs> so let's get into the plot. Um, okay, the mummy was an action adventure movie that came out like twenty years ago. I think like 1999, I hope I'm doing the math right on the years. And it is uh, two hours and five minutes. I'm sorry, I'm reading from my phone because I don't, <laughs> uh, my memory's kind of shot. Uh, so The Mummy is like this um, about, it's, it's set in the Sahara Desert in the 1920s, like 1925, I think, from what I remember. And so, <laughs> and it's about explorers, you know, uh, people who are taking treasures from other countries without even asking, pretty much. <laughs> exactly. You didn't think about that when you were younger watching that movie. I know, we but were then it's like now you're now like, we're like, oh, now that oh, we're, oh. what is it, quote unquote, woke? I guess, you know, with knowledge and, 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 and reading and, and, and having an open mind you and, and doing the research, you realize and listening to other people, you realize, oh my God, yeah. This is uh, not good. Yeah, because they would go into other countries and pillage their yeah, cultural we, treasures, really. Pretty much. You know, taken from these cultures and these countries. And um, the British Museum has all these Egyptian like art, like artwork. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's crazy. And it's awful. And uh, basically, the characters are British. <laughs> and they're okay. doing that. They're explorers and they're, they're pillaging and all that stuff. Um, so there's Evie. <laughs> and yet we still like the movie. Was, uh, we're we're going to get into I said problematic nature, like issues. Right? Right. So there's Evie and there's her brother. Um, oh, my God. What's her brother's name? John, I think, or something? No. John? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, John. Oh my God. <laughs> I forgot the brother's name. Um, Jonathan. Thank Jonathan. you. So I was confused because it's starring Brendan Fraser. Uh, Rachel Weiss and John Hand, who plays Jonathan. That's why I was confusing the names. And um, of course, Odette Ferrer, who, oh, 
so good looking in this movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So good looking. Uh, sorry. But Rachel Rice looked good looking too. Woo, she was beautiful. Let me tell you, it was like a bisexual drink. Everybody was good looking. Oh my God. We were all just good looking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to mention that. So anyways, uh, and uh, you know, seeing Brandon Fraser, uh, just to give a heads up, if you haven't seen Trust, see Trust. It's on Hulu. He is damn good in that. People keep on saying like, Oh, it's his, he's going to be in more movies now. And I'm like, he's been in stuff. You just haven't watched it, really. Right. You know, he's um he's on Trust on Hulu. Luca Marinari is on that, too, and he's really good. So check that out. Brendan Fraser, Hilly Swank, Luca Marinari from The Old Guard, and um, Mari Neiden. All really good. Damn good. That's a good show. Um, He's also on, I think it's called uh, Doom Com Patrol, Doom Patrol, which is a DC show on HBO Max, and I heard it's really good. So um, I never seen it sadly, but you know, check it out if you can. Um, I heard good reviews, but I, again, I don't know because you can't. You know, you have to see it yourself to exactly. really trust your own instinct and your 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 watching and being like, okay, I actually like this. You can't just go by critics, you know. <laughs> Right. If you see something, they say it's really good. You watch it, you're like, wait, this wasn't, uh, this wasn't that good. So, you know, but just check it out. Um, so, yes, uh, Rick is the main, I guess, lead to it, it, Brendan Fraser. And he's, this is the part, the beginning. He's part of an army that, that was confusing. I don't know if, like, I don't remember if you knew what the army was. That's the, the reason why they were there in Egypt. <sighs> Well, the army, I don't know exactly which army it was. was. So I thought it was the British army, but I wasn't sure. I it's not know. really clarified, not really but they were there looking for the treasure. The treasure, basically. And so, um, so of course, it's, um, they, you know, it's, it's, it's cursed, these lands, as they say, you know, it, it's ancient Egypt, it's, it's, and so they go pillage these um places, you know. Rick meet, you know, they they uh, Jonathan and Evie find Rick in the prison over there, and they're like, hey, if you could find this um land for us, what was the land again? It was um I forgot the name of the land. Oh, me too. Yeah, <laughs> I so forgot. Um, it was I forgot. As but far as the Egyptian kind of like. I forgot what the land was called. Theme around the mummies and how, you know, the historical facts and names into I in think the film they were fake, right? Um, they Some used real names oh, okay. for these um for these characters, people who existed, like um the priest, Imhotep. Imhotep. He was um he he was actually real historically, mm -hmm. and then certain places were real, like the Book of the Dead. The, Mm. Book of Life, those right. are actually real. I think, actually, Book of Life, I'm not too sure, but the Book of Dead does exist, and we saw a, a, a scroll of it, like a roll of it at the British Museum. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about the British Museum. <laughs> so as far as historical context and, like, there are some accuracies, but they change it up a little bit here and there. So, um, yeah. so they try to, you know, come up with some, like, real Egyptian story in a way with using these names and stuff, but it's, of course, all fictitious. Yeah, it's all fictitious, and basically... Of course, um, with the mummies, but extra, uh, the mummification, that <laughs> process that they explain in the story oh, is actually was, real. Was, I think you told me that was real, yeah. yeah. So, of course, they um, get involved with the mummy that comes out in Motep, which was a high priest, right? I mean, that was the yeah. real person, you said. So, and of course, you know, um, Evie waits him up because she doesn't know what like girl calm down because she doesn't believe in superstitious and stuff and uh, she wakes him up sadly with the help of Rick and Jonathan and all the American um explorers who were there trying to take treasure as well and pillage but I, you know it, it was kind of her fault and their fault too right because so it's it makes like sense. Because, they had to clean it up yeah because like they didn't believe the superstitious stuff and it's like okay let's do whatever the hell we want in a country that we're not from and it's like, look, man, I don't believe in certain things, but I respect people's culture and what they believe in. You just got to respect that, you know? 
And so, yeah. And then mommy came. And that's what happened. And then fire. All, what was it? The, the, the seven deadly plagues, I think? or the, Seven the, deadly plagues. Is it seven? Yeah, yeah, I think it's yeah. seven. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry if I'm having this wrong. My memory is kind of shot right now. I can't remember it right for some reason. So, um, yeah, I think, and you know, they don't make movies like this. It's action packed. It's it's fun. You know, it, it, the chemistry between the characters. A lot of like a lot of the characters from the movies like now, like you said, like the Jungle Cruise. Yeah, you said, just recently watched it. And yeah, it wasn't. You know, how um, was it? Because I didn't get to see it. So on I don't know. a level of like, I can't give it a number. But as far as it, it being good, it was okay. Like I like the fact that she was a female lead and she was the adventurer and explorer, right? And just like Evie was. So that 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 context, having them together like that, you know, I can compare and contrast. Mummy was definitely a lot better in the sense that the storyline was the stronger and and the chemistry and the right? chemistry was really good yeah the rock was funny in the jungle i want to say jungle boats like jungle <laughs> boats. he was like funny he had really like <laughs> silly moments but their chemistry wasn't that good yeah i think that's what but, but all in all it was an entertaining film but this one i feel like for me I really enjoyed the mummy more, yeah. and I can. What's great about the mummy is that I can still watch it and still get into the story. Of course, also complaining about all the, the problematic issues. issues and stuff. Because I mean, it's yeah, like you like, can't you can't escape that. You can't and I escape think that them. was the thing with um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Sorry for the noise. Um, I was watching it yesterday on Disney Plus, and it's like I was watching it, and I was like, I remember I had fun with this, but then it's like you know, and then it's like, oh my god, all these people are colonizers; they're all in the Caribbean. <laughs> she, was, <laughs> well, she was watching the entire movie, and she's like, and yet you're a colonizer. I, yet, I, yeah, I know. I'm it's so like, sorry, but it's the truth. They're in the Caribbean. I don't know what part of the Caribbean islands they are. But the, they're from England, and they're they're British, and they're there like colonizing and taking and and taking these people's culture and stuff, whatever island Caribbean island they're from. I didn't really say on this one. Um, so it, it you know those probably issues do come up because when you have a cast of just mostly you know um, uh, Caucasians, white people, and you don't have that it, it, or the Egyptian or the Caribbean whatever island I don't know what island they're from. You don't have that backstory or have them in the forefront behind the scenes or in front of the scenes it, it's very problematic you know because you're using their land and their culture but you're not really using you're not getting the in, in um, i guess the info from the people and you're not using their knowledge you know and, and they're not the forefront of telling their story you right. know like how now they're using hawaii to shoot shows because of the pandemic they're in Hawaii and all that stuff, but mostly it's just, you know, mostly, it's, you know, white or they don't have Hawaiians in the movie or people native from Hawaii or any of the islands in Hawaii, you know. And I think what Hollywood still doesn't understand. But they use the culture and they use the beautiful land. It's yeah. how important it is to have people represent their own stories. Yeah, because then you lose because that. they 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 express it differently. They tell it to their own, they know. you know, and mm -hmm. it becomes. It is a form of authenticity in a story. And and you, you get to hear these stories from people who actually lived it or know that culture. And it's beautiful. And yeah. it's like, wow. You know, and you miss that when you have other people who right. don't represent them. Right. And they're but they're using up the resources in yeah. the land to shoot but these shows. Before movies. we wrap up, I just wanna say if you like what you're hearing now, give us a like so we can continue what we're doing. Yes. We want to hear from you. Please let us know if you've seen The Mummy, if you didn't like The Mummy, or any critiques you have of The Mummy. Because, you know. Yeah. Or any one other viewer action adventure next can movie. see something completely different than what we do. Yeah, exactly. And But aside from that, I really... My last tidbit on The Mummy was that it was just a really cute story to see... I guess Brandon Frazier and Rachel. What is it? Why? Rachel Rice. Why? Uh, oh my um, God, their chemistry, chemistry it was, was so, so good. Again, they don't do it like that in Hollywood. They just, in Hollywood, they don't do chemistry reads or something. They just put like, oh, this actor is popular. This actor is popular. Let's put them together. And then you notice that even though you like both of those actors, they have no chemistry. 
They don't do it like they used to. I right. think the recent movie I watched was The Old Guard with, you know, with mm-hmm. Joe and Nikki. Joe like, and those two Nikki. actors had chemistry. We are not going to stop talking about that film. No, but, but it's, like, severe because, like, Gina prince Bride would she does chemistry reads. So that's yeah. the thing. Like, going back to The Mummy, they had chemistry. Brendan Fraser and Rachel Rice had chemistry. Rick and Evie, you believe their love story and you believe that they, they, they were sexually attracted to each other and everything like that. And going through this adventure together and just, like, you know, saving each other. Or, well, Rick was saving him more. But you know what I mean. <laughs> he was pretty tough. Yeah, he was pretty tough. It, it was more the sequel where she got to be her own person. Yeah, I know the sequel is not that beloved. I like it. Yeah. I I, I get it. But it's it's a fun, bad movie. <laughs> and you I had wouldn't those. call it bad. You, you know, I like it still. I had fun with it. And she's more, you know, it's it's the flashbacks that kind of kill it with the reincarnation stuff it was like Oof. um you know and all so yeah that i love the love story you just felt the chemistry and i think that's the part that works it in this movie is the chemistry and the story being simple action packed and getting to point a to point b and that's it oh that was it <laughs> that was it people so if you decide to check out the mummy it's on hulu right now I think and, HBO Max. And too. HBO Max. All it right. said it's all Hulu. So I'm about to be like, huh? Yeah. I'm about to check that. And again, <laughs> if you want to keep in touch, you know, definitely subscribe. Click the bell to get notified about our next videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're yeah. trying this new oldie but goodie thing and yeah, see do if more it, older movies. It, you know, stuff. because we love old movies and I hope. That one day we're gonna do the Goonies. I know she's like, oh, we gotta do the Goonies, right? right. <laughs> so thank like, you on. so much for watching, for movie. speaking on, and any suggestions on movies that we should watch or review, please leave them in the comments. You're awesome. Thank you for sticking around. Have a great day. Peace out. Peace.